Welcome to Exotic Astrology, ladies and gentlemen. And somebody had asked me a question. Is there any secret to judge the strength of our sun, Surya Narayan? How can we judge it in short? Okay, so is there any quick way by which we can understand? Uh, de uh, depending on our horoscope, of course. So when I say quick way, I don't mean this way only. So this result, which I will tell you, has to be seen in the context of the overall chart, which means the overall chart may support this or may oppose this. Okay, So to the extent uh, the chart is agreeing to this, to that extent, this will be magnified. And to the extent the horoscope, the majority of the planets, they are opposing this, you will this you you might feel that this is not working okay so let's try to understand what what sun represents actually so if you uh, see the sky what do you feel what does the sun represent what happens when the sun comes up everybody else feels lively yes that is how you check the strength of your sun so wherever your sun is sitting in your bhav chart Okay, not in Lagna chart, in your Bhav chart. Mm -hmm. What is Bhav chart? Blah, blah, blah. Bhav chart video is already there. Please type exotic astrology, B H A V C H A R T, Bhav chart. You will find the video. Okay. So, wherever sun is sitting in your Bhav chart, you just check. How much are you see? What, what does the sun do? Why does everybody feel as if. Uh, they, they are lively because when when the sunlight reaches the body there are certain hormones which are secreted in the body which uh, signal the body to uh, get up basically okay so if your sun is strong then when people come in contact with you they will also feel as if they are getting up okay so uh, many times people uh, they consider jupiter for uh, if they want to go into Jupiterian careers like uh, guiding others or motivating others. But they forget to analyze the sun. It's very important because without, without the sun, Jupiter cannot function actually. Okay? So therefore, you have to understand that uh, if your sun is very strong, then regarding the areas of that house, I'll come to the sign later. Okay? Regarding the areas of that house where sun is in your bhaucha, you have the power to uplift others and bring them back to life because sleeping is considered like a uh, death temporary because it's the 12th house 12th house is also the house of death uh, so therefore uh, if sun is well placed in your house chart in that particular house then what will happen is you will feel that you are able to somehow make people feel uh, that they are worthy basically you will be able to uh, give others the remembrance that they are powerful or at least they can do something in life okay when i say do i don't mean to say something in career okay? this this anything i say people will link to career also you mean i uh, if my son is good i i can become a good career a counselor no i i'm not saying that what if son is in your fifth house you know this can mean you can motivate people to take up creative work okay or uh, it can also mean that uh, so any any anywhere wherever son is placed and if especially if son is placed in uh, the powerful houses like which are the most uh, prominent houses of uh, the horoscope? It is the fifth house, the ninth house, the tenth house, the eleventh. These four houses, these four houses are like the power houses of the horoscope. Whatever big or good is there in this world, anything nice is all because of these four houses. If you take out these four houses from the horoscope, then nothing else remains. <laughs> okay, so if you have sun in these four houses in your bhav chart then you are definitely um, then you definitely have a lot of power to uh, uplift people okay because these houses are by nature very powerful houses so this is like saying your your son is getting surcharged by the power of these houses so therefore you have more power to surcharge others 
okay so i have always seen if people have sun in these houses like 5th 9th 10th or 11th then they have the power to change other people's decisions they also because these four houses are the houses of uh, will power strength determination decision making commitment okay so um, these four houses if if sun is somehow linked with these four or i would say preferably seated okay not lorded if sun is sitting in these four one of the four or it can also happen if sun is conjunct or aspected by the lords of these houses then also this can happen or it can also happen if sun rules these houses okay but uh, you cannot take it as a blanket statement so for example scorpio ascendant uh, sun is the 10th lord okay if, if if it is the 10th lord in the bhav chart then uh, does it mean every scorpio ascendant is like uh, they, they can they are very great or you know they can uplift others as well? well not necessarily okay it's not like that so uh, similar is for libra ascendant i mean sun is the 11th lord so the, or a sagittarius okay so uh, it doesn't mean that uh, just because you have this lagna it will have this effects okay so now what are the factors that enhance this power of the sun you have to understand okay so suppose sun is anywhere okay sun is sitting anywhere in any any house then uh, how do you know uh, which which planets are going to uh, enhance this power of the sun okay so you have to che check if the uh, natural friends of the sun or the trinal lords of the horoscope depending on the ascendant even if they are enemies okay so let me repeat the natural friends who are the natural friends mars jupiter and moon these are the friends okay and if they are conjunct or they are aspecting the sun then the sun has even greater power because see think like this sun is like the king okay then moon is the queen then jupiter is the guide is like the raj guru and mars is like the soldier okay so imagine when you think of a king what comes into your mind okay there is a king and there is a queen and you know there is one priest and you know there is this army so imagine uh, these these three other planets they are enhancing the power of the sun okay they are conjunct the sun or uh, they are helping the sun somehow or they are in parivartan with each other so these these are the best things that you can have in a horoscope okay uh, so so suppose sun is in aries and mars is in leo wow best thing to have <laughs> okay so uh, they are in parivartan Okay, parivartan means sun is in the sign of mars and mars is in the sign of the sun or sun is in sagittarius and jupiter is in leo okay or moon is in leo and sun is in cancer wow fantastic place friends <laughs> and if the lords of these houses the 5th 9th and 10th and the 11th also somehow link with the sun okay so if they are also conjoined the sun then it is like bang on it's huge okay so and added to that if sun is also placed in these houses like if sun is in the 5th 9th 10th or 11th then this power is like magnified 1000 times or uh, if you have a strong ascendant lord that also helps the sun okay or if your ascendant is strong your ascendant has an exalted planet your ascendant lord is exalted your ascendant lord is well placed your ascendant lord is either in either of these houses 5th 9th 10th and 11th so then you shall know that uh, my son's power has been enhanced okay or even if the ascendant lord is conjoined the sun then also you can get this feeling these are fantastic placements to have actually okay and now how do you know if the son's power has been reduced because uh, everything is not positive always you know there's the negative side also to things so if the lord of the lords of the dusthanas hmm, the 6th 8th and 12th they are conjoined the sun then they can create uh, troubles in giving light okay or if sun is uh, himself sitting in these houses in the bhav chart okay or they are been aspected by the lords of these houses now many most of the times what will happen either the 6th 8th or 12th one of them will be either uh, jupiter uh, 
moon or mars okay you will have i mean most of the times it will happen like this either one of the three will be lauded by one of the three okay uh, then then what happens then will the planet help sun or they will uh, pull the sun down okay so this is uh, very tricky so to answer this you have to check um, so let's take an example if you are uh, sagittarius rising for example and then mars now here here it becomes very tricky because mars is um, also the fifth lord which means it should help sun and it is also a natural friend it also should help sun by two means but it is also the 12th lord okay because scorpio is in the 12th house so now what will happen uh, mars as a natural friend and as a lord of the fifth will help this sun who is also the ninth lord for a sagittarius or it will act as the 12th lord and uh, create losses for the sun well both of them will be there so which means this is like a situation where uh, you are giving light to others but you yourself are diminishing <laughs> so this is like that's like a similar scenario but here still your capacity to give light will be more you know why because uh, for uh, Sagittarius, uh, the Mool Tricone sign of Mars, which is Aries, is, the fifth, is in the fifth house. So Mars is primarily a fifth lord and se secondarily a twelfth lord, okay, the twelfth lord. <laughs> so therefore, uh, Mars has more capacity to act as the fifth lord then as the 12th lord now this can change provided mars is badly placed if mars itself is in 6th or 8th or 12th then the scales are twisted because now not only mars is lording a bad house it is also sitting in a bad house okay then it can happen that um, you, you you are in so much anxiety you are coming under anxiety that oh i have these many dependents these many subjects what if i cannot inspire them what will happen i will lose my position i will lose my name fame power position all these things but because it is also the fifth lord somehow that inspiration to um, guide others and help others and give light to others will always exist or if mars is in debility then also this can happen okay so um, this is how you have to judge actually so because if you say that moon mars and jupiter will always help but then they may rule dusthana so then how do you see okay what happens okay and now the opposite may happen so mercury uh, mercury is of course is like neutral or a friend you could say but uh, saturn venus and rahu especially they are dreaded enemies okay so uh, if saturn is involved then what can happen is you you may not have light yourself so if you don't have light yourself how will you give light to others right now this can change if suppose uh, you are a taurus lagna and uh, saturn is the ninth lord and the tenth lord okay and sun is the fourth lord so now suppose sun saturn they are conjunct okay they are conjunct let's say in virgo in the fifth house for taurus lagna so then how do you decide what, what, what the hell is going to happen okay how do you know what's happening mm -hmm. this is interesting one side it is a trinal lord and a lord of the 10th also it's a yoke karak uh, it's a very powerful planet for taurus lagna and on the other side he is the worst enemy of the sun mm -hmm. so this means that you will be able to give inspiration to others and enlighten and enliven others but after lots and lots of defamy with after lots of scandal and after lots of problems okay so uh, saturn will act in both ways so he will act as an enemy to the sun by being natural saturn and as a friend to the sun by uh, being the ninth and the tenth lords okay so therefore this is how you have to judge to what extent can you uh, give light to others how to what extent can you sustain others basically okay but for that there's a prerequisite you have to first sustain yourself if you you are only sinking then how can you sustain others right so uh, therefore uh, if somebody has these yogas like dharma karma dipati yoga or the lagna lord ninth lord conjunct or the lagna lord tenth lord conjunct 
then the power of this uh, of sun is very much exemplified by default and all these conditions which i said you know lords of the fifth ninth tenth and eleventh they are involved with the sun or if lords of these houses are involved with the lagnesh or with the lagna then also the power of the sun is exemplified okay so this is how you have to judge and similarly i will also make videos for uh, moon and uh, mars and all these planets okay so uh, i hope you got a approach to judge how to see uh, how powerful your sun is okay if you are not interested in doing a very detailed analysis okay but yes if you are interested then you can always uh, go and check the sign and the nakshatra the sign and the nakshatra will tell you uh, more about the uh, yeah, the pathways how that manifests okay so suppose it is eighth house and it is gemini so eighth house represents you know all these uh, sudden things you know unexpected things so gemini is communication so it may happen that you can uplift others by your communication motivation speaking and all this i'm just giving an example there are many 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 uh, facets to this okay so sun in eighth house in gemini not everybody will become a motivational speaker okay <laughs> okay or if it is uh, some other sign the flavor can be different all right so and then you go to the nakshatra so the story of uh, the, the nakshatra where your sun is placed is very 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 crucial that will tell you the story of how you can uplift others okay so sun's nakshatra is very crucial so you should always study every nakshatra is crucial but you should always study the nakshatra where your sun is okay if you want to uplift others enlighten others enliven others okay there you go that is it from my side thank you very much for your patience and if you want to watch other videos on the sun i'll put it here and if you are new then please subscribe and like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know about the sun and if you want a consultation from me, please go to my website down below. What is that with you? All the time, just look to him and you will find him.